What's up guys, we are here at Nike's World Headquarters meeting with the man behind the Mercurial, Alex Pickett, thank you so much for letting us be here today. Good to see you again. I hear you have something new to show us. Yeah, we got something pretty special to show you today. It's the new Mercurial for 2019. Now, the Superfly 6 and the Vapor 12 were almost an instant success for you guys, and they're loved by so many players around the world. So how did you and your team kind of decide what updates needed to be made to make this new Merc even better than the previous one? For our team, that was the most challenging part of the brief. How do we evolve and really push the Mercurial on for 2019? We know we have a phenomenal shoe in 2018. Player feedback and retail feedback really shows that. So what our team really worked on is innovating against every aspect of the shoe, making it lighter, making it faster, really bringing out that explosive speed for that player on pitch. Now, you did say everything is kind of brand new. I gotta say, from my experience with it, taking it right out of the box and trying it on, the upper is so much softer. So kind of walk me through some of the updates to the upper and the flyknit that you guys have used and how it's differed from some of the previous models. So I think the first thing I wanna take you through is the changes that we've made to the upper. Uh, the first thing that you're going to really notice is how soft the upper feels and how locked down you feel when you're actually sprinting around the pitch. We have a brand new Nike only yarn called High Tenacity. This is the first time that it's been used in Nike football. That along with the blend of P16 yarns really creates that really soft upper touch that we want for high speed control. You blend that with the internal linings, what we have inside the shoe, which is a brand new one piece internal lining. It's incredibly soft, it's incredibly comfortable because we know that that's what the players want. And we've also perforated this just to save that a little bit of additional weight, knowing it's all about marginal gains in material to make the lightest shoe that we possibly can. So with all the updates, all the innovation that's really come in that new flyknit upper, what does that really mean for the fit of the boot? I think what you're gonna find is that the fit of the boot has improved even greater than Spring 18. We're still gonna get that lockdown around that midfoot area and into the toe box. What else you're gonna feel is a really soft touch on the ball. So you can actually feel the new Nike skin here, along with the built-in texture. In spring 18, that was molded onto the upper. Now the new innovation is that that texture comes from the flyknit design, and the flyknit pattern. So not only do we have this high tenacity locking the foot down, but we also have the P16 design, which really creates this texture, which you can feel on the upper, and you've felt on pitch today when you've been kicking the ball around. We feel that that's a big step for Mercurial to bring that minimal micro texture for high speed control. It's everything working together. The linings are key. They've got to be soft and supple around your foot, but they've also got to provide support. Then the high tenacity really locks your foot down to the footbed. We're obsessed with 360 fit in Mercurial, and that true one-to-one -one sock like fit is something that we feel really happy with, with that new combination of P16 and high tenacity art. I have to say, you guys absolutely killed that upper. And you actually kind of touched on it there with the full 360. We're gonna to rotate to the bottom of the boot. So on Superfly 6 and Vapor 12, you guys introduced, you know, the whole chassis, the split plate. It lays a fantastic foundation, but how do you kind of build off that for the new model? So we always talk around fit is the foundation of speed, but what truly makes you faster is how that plate interacts with the ground. So first thing we looked at is the stud geometry and the stud length. Working with our finite element analysis group, we really made sure these studs we're in the optimal position for speed. We then looked at stud length. We heard some player feedback that they wanted a slightly longer FG stud, giving them better penetration into the ground. Better penetration into the ground means that they can accelerate faster, but they can also decelerate faster. And breaking is a key part of making that player quicker on pitch because they can avoid other players, take them on, stop and cross the ball. Next up is how this aero track system comes into play. So this is brand new for Fall 19 and it's how the plate the internal chassis and the soft liner really works together in one combination system to really create a more snappy, more explosive plate. The internal chassis has been tuned, so it is the same as Spring 18, except this time we've really refined that four foot area, which is where the responsiveness and snap is coming from, and that works one-to-one -one with this new aero track system in the plate to create optimal speed. I will say, just from wearing it today, I could really sense a lot more of that, that snapping that you're talking about and the getting in and out of the ground faster with that five, that 10, 15 yard distances. It's something that it's all about marginal gains again. And if we can keep tuning each individual aspect of this material for 19, we know we're gonna make this shoe even quicker than it was in 18. So making sure that that chassis is tuned to every size, whether you're a size four or a size 13, this is the optimal snap and responsiveness for that size. 
that along with the studs and along with the geometry of the new chevron placement we feel that we've got the best explosive plate on the market i i have to say from experiencing it today i think it's definitely up there so what can you tell us about some of the feedback that you and your team gathered around this boot and was there any specific player feedback maybe from some of your professional athletes so we've been testing this material now for over two years 15 rounds of testing around north america brazil and also in europe we use our best assets to test material and also open that up to familiarization process with our key athletes. All of their feedback has been consistent. This is the best material that they've tried on and everything that we wanted to accomplish in the brief, they have told us back in direct feedback, whether that's the acceleration and that explosive speed that they're getting from the chassis and from the new stud placement to the really soft touch of the upper and still maintaining that Fit360, what we brought in 18, but we've improved it even further. They're telling us that they are more locked down and they're even quicker in this shoe than they have been in any other mercurial. That's perfect. I have to add my feedback to that as well. It's basically one of the best I think I've ever worn. And you and your team, I think, did a fantastic job to that. But for some of the people that haven't been able to wear the mercurial, what is one thing you would say to them to convince them to try this model? For our team, this is the best fitting speed boot on the market. We've delivered high speed control and really soft touch in the upper and we've also made that player feel a lot more explosive on pitch. Our player insights and our feedback have made sure that we've delivered against all of those aspects that we wanted to design against and we're super proud of this new product as a team. Well there you have it folks, the best fitting most comfortable speed boot that Nike has ever created is here. It's the Mercurial Superfly 7 and the Vapor 13. Alex. Thank you so much for letting us come out here and take some of your time today. Thank you for walking us through the product. Not a problem. Always good to see you. That's all we got for you guys today. Until next time, we'll see you later.